Last time we talked about how to list your token on CoinMarketCap. In this video, we will be sharing steps of how to list your coin on CoinGecko. Before we start, let's talk about these types of comments. Give me advice. Help me decide which NFT to invest in. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. I would like to remind you that this channel does not contain any financial advice. And if you would like to have one, please find a qualified financial advisor. This is your Bunny Money channel. And here we are discussing all things finance, trading and crypto. These videos are for educational purposes only. So if you are familiar with crypto, you most likely know about CoinGecko. To appear there, you would need to submit your request directly to them. To start the process, Google CoinGecko listing requirements. On the results page, you will find the link to CoinGecko FAQ with very important information. If you scroll down to the question number 9, you can find a methodology page which you will need to read carefully and a submit application form. On the request page, you would be able to fill in your request for listing your coin or token. It's a standard procedure form and if you have queries which can't be solved with it, email CoinGecko team. In this form, you should provide your official email, for example, contact at supercoin.com. It shouldn't be your personal email, but a company one with your domain name. Next, choose the request option. In our case, it's a new coin or token listing. Next, read and agree to the rights to determine the suitability of your request as well as terms and conditions, which you can find through this link. Press next. Next, choose whether your project is a coin or a token. As you can see, there is a reminder that if you want to list your coin or token on CoinGecko, it needs to be actively traded on exchanges tracked by CoinGecko. Click Next. On this page, you would need to provide additional information about your token, such as token name, exchanges where it's listed, and it should be as a link to the analytics page of Payer. To find it, provide the analytics page of your token. For example, if your coin or token is listed on Uniswap, go to info.uniswap.org. Find your token and copy-paste your token's address into the field. If it's listed on other platforms, double-check whether CoinGecko accepts them and paste the link. Next, provide website's URL, and it should include https colon double slash prefix. For example, https colon double slash supercoin.com. Specify the blockchain platform where your token was created and the contract address. To find it, search it on the chain scan where it was created and copy paste it here. In the next field, write the full description of your project, which should be 10 to 15 sentences and very detailed. It should be addressed to users and easy to understand with the purpose and functions of the projects stated clearly. Next, provide your token's total supply and maximum supply. In the next field, you can see that circulating supply would not be automatically updated on the platform as it needs to be verified by CoinGecko's team manually. For this, email them by using this address. In the email, provide as much info as you can. Be transparent and truthful. If your project has an open source code on GitHub, you can attach the address here. In the next field, give social media links for your projects, such as Facebook, Twitter, Telegram, Discord, Medium, Subreddit, Bitcoin Talk. The last step is where you will need to provide the token's logo, which should be not a file but a link. You can use any available hosting sources where CoinGecko can access the file. After you are done, press next and complete the verification. So voila, you submitted your request. Yeah, baby, yeah! So what's next? Next, you need to wait for CoinsGecko team to review your project and reach out to you. If you have any questions, you can always contact them by using the email they provide. The most important thing, however, is never try to contact and spam people who are working there. There is this one form, so use it. If your project is already listed on CoinGecko and you need to update or add new info, you can do so by submitting the same request form, but this time choosing update coin or token listing type of request. Here you would be able to request an update for circulating supply or market capitalization, links, social media, description, logo, new listings or exchanges, etc. 
To do so, provide a link for your CoinGecko project and choose the request. Let's go back to another important question that everyone needs to pay attention to before submitting the request form, which is methodology. The methodology page explains basic important knowledge you should be aware of. If you scroll down to the part called listing, this is where you can find the listing criteria. You can see that the listing process is completely free and there is no way any of the representatives will contact you and ask for a listing fee. Listing is only a consideration process which does not guarantee the result. CoinGecko reserves all rights to publish and unpublish any listed projects on their platform. And when you submit your project, make sure that the information you provide is legit. For example, the website and social media must contain information and not be empty. Maybe before, a simple empty website or social media with bot followers might have worked, but now it's not the case. Pay attention that if your website is hosted by builders like Wix, it won't be accepted. Your project should also be on at least one exchange CoinGecko is integrated with. If the project is traded only on the exchange owned by your team, it will be considered irrelevant for security reasons. When you provide info to CoinGecko, double check it and make sure the links work. Do not submit multiple requests or repeatedly ask for updates. Do not offer a financial gain for the listing. Do not accept any offers from those who try to guarantee your listing. Some additional suggestions would be to show yourself and your real identity because if you are passionate about your project and believe in it, why not let others know? As we said before, there are so many sketchy projects on the market with the anonymous teams who never show their faces but look like this. Like what? Look at the names. Never in a million years will I believe that Dr. Mu exists. If you can't find the real person behind the project, why would you trust it? This is so f***ing fake. No sure names, no photos, no social media profiles, and who the hell is Duke Snow? Or look at this. Hey, I'm hiding behind a dog face. Give me all your money. Shorty. What do you look like? What is your real name? Are you hiding something because the <coughs> or they have social oh they have social media attached. But guess what? They lead to their project social media which does not exist. <laughs> if you don't think it's sus, I don't know how to help you. Train wrecks like this are the reason why so many people are skeptical about crypto. Anyway, let's get back to our topic. When you apply for CoinGecko listing, provide as much info as possible. Any falsification or artificially created data would be considered a violation and a rejection of your submission. If you did everything right, you would probably succeed. When you create a project, there are tons of things to do and you must have a plan. Before that, we shared videos about how to create your token in 10 minutes, how to update its info on scan side, how to write a good white paper, how to update your info on different platforms, etc. We encourage you not to gamble with your money on crypto market, but to understand it. And if you are interested in learning more about passive income and finance, subscribe to Bunny Money channel. This video isn't sponsored by any platform and made for educational purposes only. If you found it useful, don't forget to hit the like button. I'm Vlad. See you in the next episode.